Okay, so another drill that you guys have had a bunch of questions about is um, what we're calling the pancake good morning. So a good morning is traditionally just a way to tra uh, train hip hinging. So if you have a PVC or a bar on your back, slight bend in the knee, and all I'm doing is flexing at my hips and then coming back up. Hip flexion, back up. Um, so basically the good morning is a great way to start to differentiate hip, fre hip flexion from spine flexion. So what's the difference? When I flex my spine, I'm doing something like a Jefferson curl where I'm actually rounding my back. So this is lumbar, specifically flexion of my little back versus hip flexion at my hips. Why do we care about that? Well, you want to be able to control whether you're using hip flexion or spine flexion when you're moving. There's actually very few movements that we train that require spinal flexion. Um, Jefferson curl, if you train that specifically, would be one. If you ever train like um, specific hip, um, or not hip extensions, like back extensions on the GHD machine, there's a variation where you're training actual spinal flexion. Um, but typically, and any of like weightlifting stuff that we're doing, um, really what you want to do is maintain a neutral position of your spine, which means then that you're flexing at your hip. So, and this um, pancake in the morning, pancake is just this straddle position. What we're focusing on doing is actually finding flexion at our hip and not rounding in our spine. Um, so this is going to be limited for a lot of us because our adductors are tight AF. <laughs> so this is a cool way to kind of trick yourself into doing some mobility work. Um, so what you want to do is focus on keeping your legs pulled apart and just reaching your chest forward only as far as you can go, maintaining that neutral spine position. So if I go further than I can, see my back starts to round. So that's not what we're going for. We want to keep that spine position exactly the same so that you're just starting to differentiate what hip flexion actually feels like. Here's another um, distinction between spinal hip to <laughs> spinal flexion and hip flexion. Try saying that 10 times fast. So, um, typically what we do on the GHD um, is we're doing hip extensions, which means that the position of my spine is staying flat. If I come down to the bottom, I have a neutral curve here, I squeeze my butt, I keep my neutral curve. Hip, or hip extension, right? Hip extension, hip flexion. proprioception or understanding where your body is in space. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that now and basically what it is is you're controlling all of the movement of your vertebrae into and out of spinal flexion. So starting at the top, I'm going to curl myself down. Curl, 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 curl.